morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, it's time to catch up on some news from the Pokemon trading card game. There are some exciting things afoot, and something which is frankly just a little bit confusing. So we might as well start off with news of some new playmats, which have gone and appeared on the official Pokemon Center website. There are three playmats which have gone and been revealed. Unfortunately, one of them is so gosh darn popular, it's already gone and sold out. And that's probably not terribly surprising, because it's an Eevee playmat. It is in fact a playmat with lovely little symbols all around it, but mostly there's a happy looking jumping Eevee in the middle. And then we've got all eight of the Eevee Lucians just chilling down below. Oh, yeah. This was always going to be a spectacularly popular playmat. And unfortunately, it has proven to be the case. For what it's worth, it is absolutely beautiful. I am completely in love. I kind of want this playmat. Unfortunately, I am very much not the only person that wants this playmat. And it has gone and sold out, unfortunately, fairly quickly. It couldn't stay in stock until I'd finished the video. But then again, we know that Eevee is a spectacularly popular Pokemon. So it's probably not terribly surprising that it went and sold out so gosh darn quickly. Do we wish it had stayed in stock a little longer? Obviously. But we've been talking a fair bit on this channel lately about Eevee Heroes, the upcoming mini set over in Japan. It's not a special mini set. Japan has main and mini sets. This is a smaller set. Ergo, a mini set. And the hype for that is getting high. And Eevee's just popular. And incidentally, that is one of the reasons why Eevee Heroes is so gosh darn popular. Because people just love the Evolutions. Also, fun fact... Evolutions is not an official term, even though there was an official deck printed, a theme deck in Skyridge called Evolution. You might think that having an official deck printed with the name Evolution would make Evolution a proper term. You would weirdly be wrong about that. Now, interestingly enough, there was a second deck, a world deck that was printed called Evolutions, but this was actually a deck that was piloted by Jimmy Ballard to the finals of the 2006 World Championships. And when you have your World's deck printed, you get to name it. So that doesn't give us any extra information. But I just thought that was a fun little nugget. There is also a Ball Guy playmat, and this one I love. You've got the traditional Pokeball design. That is red at the top, white at the bottom, black strip in the middle. But then at the bottom, you've got all different, well, outlines of various Pokeballs, which I absolutely adore. Oh yeah, then Ball Guy looking weird and loving it. You either loved or hated Ball Guy when you played Sword and Shield. I was very much in the love category. And now if you're into Ball Guy... There is a playmat which will suit you beautifully. I think that is absolutely wonderful. I'm a fan, ladies and gentlemen. I am a fan. And I would say, well, I can't get the Evolution playmat. Maybe I should get the Ball Guy playmat. And then I remember that the Pokemon Center doesn't ship to the UK. And I get sad all over again. The last one that's got to be revealed here is a Galarian Surfetch playmat. And it is Galarian Surfetch running along with his lance and various coloured shadows following him. It's quite stylized. I don't mind Galarian Surfetch as it goes. He's quite a cool Gen 8 Pokemon. This mat's not doing it for me. If you're asking me, when the Evolution mat is off the table, literally and figuratively, then it's all about Ball Guy. But if you're a fan of Galarian Surfetch, this one is out there. Now, another piece of news we've got over the past couple of days is that the official images for the binders, the portfolios, for Chilling Rain have gone and dropped. So what we've got here is the four and nine pocket binder. And they feature the Pokemon we would expect. So the four pocket binder features Ice Rider Calyrex on the front and Shadow Rider Calyrex on the back. But that shouldn't really surprise anyone. Remember that two of the booster packs do feature Ice Rider Calyrex and Shadow Rider Calyrex. They are very much the poster children for the set. They are on the Elite Trainer boxes as well. And whenever you see something like that, 
it is always going to be that they end up on the binder at some point on one of the binders and then of course because the binders generally tend to mirror the booster pack art that means that the other binder features the galarian birds now you will notice it's a little bit weird here because of course generally speaking we have four pieces of booster pack artwork two binders front and back it works perfectly here we actually have five pieces of booster pack artwork so you can see on the back of the nine pocket binder galarian moltres and galarian zapdos they've got a share they don't get their own front or back they are sharing while galarian articuno gets the entirety of the front feel free to be upset about this incidentally feel free to be very sad that they're not getting their own and that you know, maybe Articuno shouldn't have got the front. But actually, I'm looking at the artwork. And they're all good cards. So, I'm cool with it, ladies and gentlemen. I have no real objection. But if you want to go and pick them up, they're going to be coming out around about the same time as Chilling Rain. So, if you're looking for new binders for your cards, there's options, ladies and gentlemen. There's options. And then the last thing I wanted to have a little bit of a chat about today was Shauna. You see, the other day, I showed you that Shauna was getting a reprint. And I explained to you why Shauna getting a reprint was a pretty big deal. It's another option of supporter. It's going to be here for longer than some of the options we've got at the moment because it's got regulation mark E. It's been gone for a while. So getting this card back is really kind of cool. The thing is, there are knock-on effects whenever we get cards back. And one of the knock-on effects is that this Full Art Shauna card has all of a sudden become pretty sought after indeed. There is a shop over in Japan that is buying Full Art Shauna. And this is buying, this is not the sale price, this is the price they are buying it for. Purchase information, limited quantity, strength and purchase, 100,000 yen purchase. If you don't mind, be sure to cross the main street. And please bring it to us. They are buying this card for 100,000 yen. And then, of course, we've got the obvious question of, what's he? What is 100,000 yen in terms of American or English money? And what we've got here is 650 pounds or 920 US dollars. This is a thousand dollar card. Apparently, overnight... This has become like a $1,000 card. And again, that is the purchase price. They'll be selling it for more than that. Now, obviously, the, the first answer here is, well, it's legal now. Shauna rotated out a little while ago. Now Shauna is back in the Pokemon TCG. And now that it's legal, some people are going to want the best version of it. And this is the best version of it. And this is a very popular card. Now, if anyone's wondering, in Japan, it was actually in the Best of X and Y mini set. Over here, it was actually in the Premium XY collection. That is a collection that gave us a whole bunch of full arts and then two booster packs. And I always remember that it came with exactly two booster packs. And that still weirds me out. But that was one of the full arts we got in that set. If you didn't get that set, like me, you should have regrets. Because that was an amazing set. And I know it was expensive at the time. And I didn't buy it because it was expensive at the time. I have regrets, ladies and gentlemen. I definitely should have bought it at the time. But I suppose this is how we learn. So it wasn't exactly a card that was out everywhere. It was in a mini set over in Japan. And they generally get smaller printings than the main sets. Over here, it was only in that special collection. I've not heard it going crazy over here yet. Maybe it will in the not-too-distant future. But I do just find it very interesting that all of a sudden, Full Art Shauna has just gone absolutely nuts. And it is gone for that much money. And the thing is, as much as I love Shauna as a card, I played a bunch of Shauna. Shauna was never a great card. Now, the lovely Stefan Eriksson and I had this argument. Stefan's doing an awesome series of videos where he's going through and ranking all of the full art supporter cards from every generation. And I hopped in with Stefan to have a look at the X and Y supporters. Seriously, check that video out. I'll pop a link in the description. It's really fun. I had an awful lot of fun. If you like my videos, you'll probably like me chatting about full art supporters with Stefan. So go check it out. But we got into a discussion on that video about Shauna versus Birch. 
Birch being the other shuffle draw option, it was heads you draw seven, tails you draw four. Now, assuming 50-50, as in an unweighted coin, mathematically, Professor Birch is the better option because on average, it's something like five and a half cards you'll get off Birch and five you'll get off Shauna. So Birch is mathematically the correct option, but that's not all there is to it. I was always a fan of Shauna because I would rather have the guaranteed five than the chance of slipping down to four. That didn't make me happy. Weirdly, since that happened, a bunch of people have come out and basically said, why do you even care? That was never an option. And I feel I need to remind you guys at this stage that N actually rotated out at one point before getting reprinted in Fates Collide. In 2016, we rotated to X and Y on, which actually rotated all of the different prints of N that we had at the time. And when Fates Collide came back, then yes, absolutely, we got a reprint of N and everything was fine and we all went to N. But there was a period of time where there were a bunch of tournaments where N wasn't legal. And essentially, we all had to choose Shauna or Birch. Mathematically, Birch was the option. I hated the coin flips. I always felt like I flipped tails more than heads, which I know is ridiculous. But I, I wanted Shauna. I wanted the guaranteed five because there were too many games where I'd flip tails on Birch and it would just wreck me. Whereas Shauna, I knew what I was getting. So there we go. So Shauna is back. Nowadays, of course, we have a bunch of better options. So Shauna may or may not see a huge amount of play. But the fact of the matter is, the full art version of it is going absolutely crazy nuts. And I thought that was worth having a chat about. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about these playmats. I want to know what you think about these binders. I want to know what you think about Shauna going nuts. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.